cause and effect have no place in a modern understanding of fundamental physics. On the face of it, this sounds absurd, but I bet by the end of this video, I can convince you. Before we dive in, it's important to acknowledge that even the meaning of cause and effect is not clear. Sure, we might have colloquial notions that we use in everyday life, but the phrase itself resists precise definition as would be required in any foundational theory. Often the phrase bringing about is used, but rarely if ever is this concept given any sort of mathematical or formal meaning that can be verified or even made sense of. When it is, like by Wesley Salmon in 1984, it appears to be incompatible with the entirety of known physics. But beyond a mere accounting of the meaning of the phrase, the concept we are familiar with colloquially just doesn't seem to agree with the fundamental laws of nature. In my view, any useful notion of cause and effect would provide a means by which to distinguish between causes and effects. But the observed symmetry of the laws of nature make any such notion seem like it can't be essential to a description of reality. As an example, imagine you were given a series of stills taken from a video of two billiard balls colliding, arranged in a random order. From just these stills alone, you could probably put them in some order. The pictures where they're closer together are probably in the middle, and the pictures where they are distant are probably at the beginning or the end. But it would be impossible to determine, without outside information, which stills are from before the collision and which are from after, i.e. which are the cause and which are the effect. This is because Newtonian mechanics is time-symmetric. The laws of physics go the same both forwards and backwards in time. The same is basically true on the quantum scale, unless you add in an ad hoc collapse mechanism to your Schrodinger equation, and on a cosmic scale. So if there is no cause and effect, what is there? Patterns and states. The laws of nature are just a mathematical description of the patterns that we observe in the states that describe the universe. And patterns aren't causative, but relational. For example, the number 8 comes after 7, but in no sense does 7 cause 8 any more than 9 causes 8. Rather, there's just a pattern describing the relationship of nearby numbers, no causal relationship necessary. Now, you might object, cause and effect obviously exist because time exists. But as illustrated by Einstein's relativity, time is just another dimension, and we don't assign some special metaphysical reality to left being prior to right. No, the only reason why time seems special to us is because it seems to be one way. But arguably, that's emergent from entropic considerations, and that can't force causation either. Just because there is more order at one time than at another doesn't grant that earlier time causal priority. So what's the takeaway? While cause and effect are useful notions for everyday life, when we're considering the foundations of reality, we would be served well not to impose our beliefs on an uncaring universe.